What's up everybody, back in with another episode of The Sims 3. Now in this episode I want to do a tutorial on how to make a cyborg. First of all you want to get the bot building robot station right here. You have to have Into the Future too by the way. If you guys didn't know. Um, so you buy the little bot building station. Have your sim go over here and create a plumb bot. Pretty simple. Let's put the walls down. And you could do this anywhere. You could do this at the uh, store. You could do this at the house. You can do it anywhere where you can create a plumb bot. Um, basically, you, you can even do it to an existing plumb bot if you have one and you want to uh, make her look like a human. So what you want to do is once you get in and create a sim, I mean create a plumb bot, whenever this shit fucking loads, you know, it's probably going to take a year and a half and a couple days. All right, once you're in here, oh, this is a robot I made. This is Chris. All right, so let's just say you want to make a robot. So, bam, you make a robot. Ta-da. <laughs> let's just ram, ram, uh, ramanize them. What the hell? Random not, randomize. Oh, my God. Randomize. Let's just randomize the robot so we can get a... Uh, Make it as real as possible, so bam. You come in here, you make you a robot, you say, Oh damn, I love this robot. But don't love it because it's never going to look like that again. So you just make a robot, ta-da, go back out, create your robot, ta-da, there's your robot. Alright, now, now what you want to do, and by the way, now what I'm going to use is going to be called N-A, what is it called? N-A-A. N R A A S. Now, a link in the description will have where you can download this at. So, what you need to do is you download it, you throw it in your mods folder, just like any other download, throw it in there, then you click it, go to Master Controller, and then this is the part where I don't really remember. I think it's in Basic. No, it's not in Basic. It's in Intermittent. Yeah. Go to Intermittent, and right here, Intermediate, or whatever, and then go to Occult Add. And then you want to add a sim bot. Bam. And you'll see it'll light up. And then you click. You have a new email. Oh my god. And then you click accept. I don't know why this says have a water balloon fight. And then your robot's going to turn into this shit right here. It's going to look like this fucking $2 ass robot. So once you had a robot look like this, it's still going to be a plumb bot. So it'll have all the features. The only thing it isn't going to have. Is this quality thing is gonna go away so it's not gonna have any kind of quality and then after it looks like this what you want to do is you want to go back to NRAAS click that again go to master controller um, go to advanced go to edit and create a sim once you get into create a sim you basically all you want to do is you want to just make it look like you want it to look so what I recommend you do is you go in here and pick a pre-made sim just pick anybody like just pick this girl for example and then your robot looks like a, a person but that's still actually a robot so you can make it look how, however you want it to look i actually made a pre-made sim that i'm gonna make my robot look like right here this is gonna be siri 2.0 for everybody that watches my let's plays it's a sneak preview of what the new siri is gonna look like um whenever it loads up come on this is gonna be my robot sexy right so this is still a plumb bot. It might look good, damn good, I might say. Uh, <laughs> but it's actually a robot. So we're gonna click accept. We're gonna go, we're just gonna change a couple things. Just so I can show you, it's just like making a sim though. Like you can make the hair any color you want it. Uh, you could do, you know, anything you wanna do. Far as, you know, the eye color, eyebrows, lips, uh, tattoos. You have a new email. Oh my god, this shit is blowing me up. So, I just want to change the eye color real quick, make it look a little bit more like a robot. Just take the green, and then you can make like the pupil black. It's kind of freaky looking, but make your eyes blue. I don't know. You could do whatever you want to do. But my point is, you make it like you want to. You leave the personality alone, though. I would leave this all alone because I don't know what it's going to do. My bad, all that noise. Those are my uh, shades in the background. It's a nice ass day in Cleveland today. But um, so when you're done making your sim look good, or however you want it to look, click accept. All right, now once you're back in the game, this will be your robot. Now before you even start your game, go back into NRAAS, go to Master Controller, go to Advanced, 
I think. Is it advanced? No. Yeah, advanced. Go back to advanced. Go to reset sim. Reset the sim because it, she won't be able to interact with you if you don't. Then go press play. Your robot will be outside and this will be your new robot. And everything will be just like, oh, the only problem is that I've noticed the walking is so fucking lame. Like, check out the walk real quick. Hold on, let me put the walls up. Look how she walks. Like, that's the only lame thing about it. She walks very, <laughs> very weird. Hands moving and everything. So, now I'll tell you one thing. When they run, check out when they run. Hold on, let me put this on run. They When they run, it actually looks pretty raw. See, they get jetpacks. Now, that shit is pretty tight. That, to me, is how they should run. That's why I put these platform shoes on it, because it's like jetpacks like some jetpack action. All right, so then you basically have your uh, Plumbot, and you see right here what I was telling you, the Plumbot quality is just zero. It just, it doesn't go up, doesn't go down, whatever. And then you could just adjust the trait chips, just so I can show you, it's just like a Simbot. I mean a Plumbot. I have my dude come over here and, <laughs> let me stick this rod in your neck, girl. And then bam, you got all your components and trait chips and all that right here. So, you basically have a full working cyborg plumbot. But, um, yeah, the only problem is the way they walk. They walk really weird, but uh, you can fix that. I don't remember how you do it, but I think you can edit her into the robot again. If you go into create a robot, but I don't remember how to do that. But uh, you can make her like a hovercraft up here and then a human, but she's still going to walk really weird. And I might add that in, but that's pretty much how you make a cyborg robot. And you can make them look whatever gender, I think whatever age. I don't know. I don't know about the age thing. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not hip to any of my other videos, go check them out. Um, I do Let's Plays and all of that shit. And when The Sims 4 comes out, I'm going to go ham. Um, and to my normal subscribers, what's up, now? So post in the comments if you got any questions or anything like that. And I'll definitely try to help you out. Peace. Right, let me see if I can figure out how to. What is that called? Testing. Cheats. Enable. True. Alright, now I'm going to try this and see if I can make this look. Make her change. Edit and create a sim. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the end of the video. Remember I just said you could add a hovercraft? Well, this is how you do it. Control Alt C or Shift Alt C, however you get to borrow. Put in testing cheats. Enable. And then what you want to do is you want to shift click go to edit sim and create a sim through that menu and it'll bring you back to the plumbot menu so you can put plumbot parts on your human robot so like I was saying about the uh, the legs if you can't stand the way they walk you can put a hovercraft on them now it's gonna look weird I bet see like this now, that's not how that's supposed to be. So, it's not going to look right. And I think you can get rid of sh get rid of the shoes. I don't remember how to do this. But it's a way you can do it where it will turn out right. Damn, she got them thick thighs. That should look crazy. But, uh, yeah, so you could put the body parts on her like a robot again if you wanted to. Or you could leave it alone. Um, I don't really know why you'd want to put the body parts like this on her. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to let you guys know how to do it. So you can put <laughs> all robot parts back on this sim if you want. Like this. And you could make a true sim face robot if you want. Oh my god, this dumbass is outside with this weed whacker. I mean, the head is all off. I mean, it's not supposed to be done like this. But if you just want to do it, you can. And I think that it's a better body you can put on her. I think it's this one. No, this one. No, this one? Which one is it? That one was kind of close. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this head right here. This is pretty, like, close to the neck. So, I mean, if you use your imagination a little bit, you can pretend that her neck is connected. And then you could throw the, uh, you could throw the arms on her or whatever you want. And you can make her a hovercraft. I think the shoes went away now. It's something that's weird. Like, when you put the body on, the shoes go away. Just weird stuff like that. But you can make her a hovercraft now. See? See, now, now you have a more hovercraft, cyborg, more robot cyborg than you would a human so if you guys like that you can do that too and then you just hit done and she'll be a more robot cyborg i hope this isn't too confusing but like i said if it is just post in the comments 
you guys know I got you, um, and I'll help you out. But uh, as you can see, when she's a hovercraft, she still walks funny, but it's hard to tell because she doesn't have legs. So it's still kind of a weird walk, but it's not as not as bad it's not as stupid looking but yeah so that's how you make a cyborg in the sims 3 and uh like i said before i hope you guys enjoy this and if you guys haven't seen some of my other videos go check them out so yeah there you have it how to make a plumb bot cyborg sim bot all of that in the sims 3 i hope you guys enjoy comment if you got any questions like the video subscribe check out my other videos and i'll holla at y'all next time peace